And of course, uh, gas prices, inflation overall, and crime are on the agenda for many uh, heading into the midterms. Uh, joining us right now, Paris Dunard, spokesperson for the Republican National Committee. Good morning to you, Paris. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. You know, there are different uh, perceptions of the Republican Party right now. You know, whether or not you're in or out of the party, some are saying that this is a time when uh, the Republican Party can actually leverage the moment where we're seeing a president who has some of the lowest approval ratings ever. Uh, how in the world are uh, our party goers or party members actually positioning themselves for this moment in time, for this moment in history, when so many are dissatisfied and hoping for a change? Well, what we see from the diverse uh, array of Republican candidates across the country is that they are making the case to the American people, to their constituents, and clearly saying that there can be a different way. The Democrat agenda, the radical liberal progressive agenda is not working. You've seen an increase in crime and violence and murders, which you all just reported on. We have seen uh, it, the border being out of control with over 200,000 illegal immigrants pouring, being apprehended last month alone. And you have fentanyl coming over the border, which is the leading cause of death of American men between the ages of 18 to 45. And then you have this record inflation and high gas prices, which you all just talked about. And so what Republican candidates are doing, what the Republican message is, is that there is another way. Look at how Republican governors have been leading when it comes to recovery and job creation. Look at what we were able to accomplish in a bipartisan fashion uh, with President Trump in the previous administration. So it can be done. We can have a secure border. We can have a robust, inclusive economy. We can have safety in our streets and, and communities. But it takes leadership. It takes sound policy. And that's not what Americans are getting under Democrat control across the country at the federal and local levels. Let's talk a little bit about the border issue, because obviously illegal border crossings, they totaled again another 200,000 encounters just last month. A Republican delegation heading there on Monday. We've seen these trips before. What exactly is being accomplished? Well, what is being accomplished is having a awareness of exactly what's going on at the border, talking to ranchers and farmers and families and community leaders. In order to set sound policy, you have to have an awareness of what is happening, a firsthand account, talking to Border Patrol, listening to the issues that they are also experiencing there as they're trying to protect and serve and do their jobs. This is in stark contrast to what you see from the Biden administration when you have President Biden, who has yet to even visit the border as president, vice president, or senator. He's never been to the border. And so that tells you all that you need to know about how serious this administration is taking this border crisis that they have actually created. Well, it's interesting because those are talking points that we've heard for now years. Uh, there are cries, you know, please come visit the border, see what we're going through. Now we have big city mayors, including New York's Eric Adams, D.C.'s Muriel Bowser, who are calling on the federal government to send resources. It almost sounds like what ranchers and border towns, their mayors, have been asking for for quite some time, saying they don't have enough resources, that homeless shelters are now overrun with immigrants, nearly 3,000 arriving in New York in recent weeks. What would be your message, not just to New York and D.C., but to the entire nation about how serious this issue is? The border crisis is serious. It is not a joke and it's not just touching uh, those states and those communities that live across the border uh, in Texas and Arizona and New Mexico. This is a serious crisis that is affecting everyone. It is a humanitarian crisis. It is a national security crisis. It's a health crisis. It's a safety crisis. It's actually an economic crisis. All of these issues are something that we need to take seriously. And Democrats are in charge of the House, the Senate and the White House. The onus is on them to act but they're not doing so. And, and, my, and my, my last point is this, we can have solutions on the border. President Trump working with congressional Republicans was able to build the wall, was able to secure the border, was able to have policies that work like the stay in Mexico policy and was working with Mexico to make sure that we had uh, their, their cooperation and the things that needed to be done to secure the border. There was respect for Border Patrol and our ICE officers and everyone else that is on the border and law enforcement trying to protect us. There is a different way. Republicans can lead and should be given the opportunity to do so. But has it been effective to look back? I mean, clearly, uh, 
Former President Trump is somebody who still is a leader within the Republican Party. He still has so much support, according to recent polling data. But looking back and comparing this administration to the former administration, has that been useful? Or are people really saying, you know what, what should we do next? We know what happened under this administration. We know what happened four years ago. Uh, but what does the future hold? I think the American people are looking back into how it was when it came to how Republicans in Congress and Republicans in the White House were actually leading on the issue of border security. And they can look to the present time and look at how Democrats are failing. But at the same time, they can look to the future and say, we are going to put Republicans back in office. That's why you've seen such a, 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 a deep dive in terms of support for Democrats, even uh, amongst Hispanics. Just saw a, a recent poll that came out that showed his his support was, I think, in the, in the 20s. 19% it, approval nine, among Hispanics yeah, for President nine, Biden. Exactly. According that to tells Quinnipiac. You all, exactly. So that tells you exactly how the American people feel about the condition right now. The opportunity for Republicans looking forward is to show the American people that Republicans can lead like we have in the past. But where they are want this, change and but, action. But what is the answer? What is going to be that resonating message, not just among Latino voters, but all Americans, that the GOP has the answers and the solutions and not just more rhetoric? We, it's not rhetoric because we've, we've shown proof of concept. Look at what Republican governors are doing right now to secure the border with the different things that they have done to send National Guards and resources down there. Look at what President Trump did to secure the border, working with congressional Republicans. It can be done. We can secure the border. We can address human trafficking. We can address the issues that relate to the health aspects of this. We can address the issues that relate to fentanyl. We can do it. Everything that we talked about has increased under the Biden-Harris administration because of Democrat policies. And so Republicans can offer the solutions when, if we're given the opportunity to do so in leadership. It takes leadership, and Democrats in their leadership have failed to do so. Well, hopefully, Republicans think, are ready to lead. I think a lot of people are looking for leadership, but with compassion. And I think that's something that will take bipartisan uh, workarounds. You know, people want to see change but they also want to see people treated humanely and to ensure that that's going to happen. Paris Denard, we really appreciate you being here on Morning in America. Thanks for being with us. Anytime. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.